Hey, brother. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing real well. Good. Well, it's Brian Shercliffe and Cynthia Allen, and we're going to be teaching again together soon. So excited. Starting a Bones for Life training, and this will be our second one. To, there, no, it's yeah. our, this is. I second, think. we did one kind of together. Okay. Some of our students came together. Oh, yeah, that's how, that's how that worked. That's why, to my mind, it's a second. So, yeah. it's exciting. Um, we'll start people out together in phase one, and those people then that want to go on for the teacher training in phase two will continue on, but it's coming up quick. And, it is. Uh, so, I'm sorry I did not wear my Jump Your Bones t-shirt. I mean, we were pretty cute out in public the other day, we weren't we? Were. <laughs> we both had on our Jump Your Bones t-shirt, and I have to say, as much attention as that t-shirt gets when you wear one of them, when the two of you are out, and this male, female wearing it, it gets a lot of attention. Absolutely. <laughs> we had a lot of people asking this question. Yeah, we did. So, um, yeah, so we thought maybe we'd talk a little bit about how we got into this work, and uh, why don't you... I mean, why not? Since I've been talking the most, why don't you start? Okay. Yeah, yeah happily. So my mom was uh, studying with you 15-ish mm -hmm. years ago, yeah. and I used to think that what she was doing, this whole bouncing on heels thing, was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard in my life. And uh, I used to think that handstands would save the world as well. I had some interesting beliefs. Uh, handstands save the world. I can see it on a t-shirt. Yeah. Like that. It yeah. doesn't sell quite as nicely as this one. but. Uh, <laughs> But I, I kind of let go of it after I made fun of my mom for that, that time period. I've and never then, heard of a kid making fun of his mother before. Never. It's really awful. Never. Yeah. 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 My dad even did say, why don't you just quiet down a little bit? <laughs> uh, but then a friend at uh, a place where I teach, Vitality, um, shared a little tea and learn postcard that you had made. Yeah. And uh, said, come and check out Bones for Life and see if it's helpful for you. And I said to my friend in the back of my, well, I didn't say it out loud, but I said, oh, my gosh, not that Bones for Life stuff again. I can't, that's the dumbest stuff I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> because I like this friend, Penny, I went just to be uh, kind, perhaps. Oh, and I went I that, that day with a little pain in my hip. Yeah, yeah. And five minutes into that session uh, that you were offering, I was pain-free. And I thought, well, how? How could that be? That, yeah. that that shouldn't happen. Yeah. And then we did a little bit more, and I was feeling better, and a little bit more, and I was like, wow, this is great stuff. We, we didn't do anything here, it seemed like, and things shifted so quickly. So I joined the training immediately after that one session. Yeah, you did. I mean, you know, my experience of that day, as you know, is we actually had a snowstorm. So there were several people registered, and mm -hmm. only two showed up, and they were both men which right away is very unusual for any of my things to have uh, more than one guy show up at a time is actually unusual. Yeah. And uh, and both of you quite athletic Absolutely, in, in, yeah. back, in background. So I was thinking to myself, oh gosh, what are they thinking? Uh, the whole time I kept thinking, what are they thinking? So it funny. has to be, yeah. they have to be thinking this is the, this has got to be the silliest thing I've ever done. And you both signed up for the training. We did. So you I were even a little nervous to show us the the roots of the training having to do with uh, women carrying water on their heads from Africa. Yeah, and, that was and we were movie. both fascinated by both, that movie. You were both into it. You were both into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow, it was look great. Look at their flowing stride. Like, yeah. oh my gosh, I need to know something about yeah. it. So. Those are good, great, great learning for me. They just ne cannot possibly know what is going on in other people's minds. And also, even though I would, I had, I knew the power of the work. Sometimes you mistrust the power of the work. Yes. So uh, for me, I uh, went in 2004 to New York City. And what happened mm. is um, I wanted to study with Ruthie Alon. So mm. unlike Brian, who didn't know her and no. didn't have any sense about what that connection might mean, I wanted to study with her. She was one of Moshe's original 13 students. Mm -hmm. And um, I, did, I signed up for it. And then probably like three or four weeks right before the training started, I herniated a disc mm. in my lumbar. Mm -hmm. And I was in significant trouble, really. And so I, I really wanted to do that training. I don't know if it was stupid or not, but I did it. I, I schlepped my suitcases as carefully as one can schlep their suitcases through the city of New York because mm. you don't have taxis everywhere. You're doing a lot of walking and carrying backpacks and et cetera. And went to the training every day for, it was either 15 or 18 days. I might have done the 15 date that one time. And um, and really it was a remarkable, it was a remarkable experience. Mm. It 
it helped actually with this herniated disc, which I had been uh, had an injury two years prior and had really struggled with. So, you know, you're not going to get a magical result with a herniated disc like overnight, but I could tell it was helping me, helping to decompress my spine. And more than that, though, I think is that I really wanted to find something about uprightness. Mm. And I had found that I had gotten out of a lot of pain and difficulty with the Feldenkrais work, but I still did not know how to find uprightness. Like that was excruciating for me. When Ruthie would say, there's some people that standing is excruciating. I was one of those where I just could not stand and not have significant wow. just feeling of collapse and fighting it. And I still was having trouble with that, even after all of my Feldenkrais training. And that really, really, Bones for Life turned that around big time. Wow. Plus, yeah. Ruthie was phenomenal. So you made it through the training too. 15 days is a long time in a row. Yeah, about or 18, that. Or I love that. It yeah, yeah, I love those kinds of things. So mm -hmm. that's not a big deal for me. If I could do 15 days tomorrow, I'd be off doing it. <laughs> but ours will not be 15 right. days at a time. So be not despaired. Right. Uh, ours will be in mostly two and three day segments. And, so nice. Uh, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we're hoping to hear from you and just do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Go jump your bones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.